This is Yami's Fat Bear 750S. This is a 750 watt integrated hub motor electric bike with the fat tires and it can fold. And today we're gonna check out everything I love about the Yami Fat Bear and take this thing out to the beach and take it out to some trails and put it through the paces and see how much kind of value you can get for $1,800 with Yami. Right, now, one of the first things you'll notice about the Yami Fat Bear 750S is how good it looks. You'd think that because it's a folding bike that they would, it would look silly, but it doesn't. It really looks like a mean machine. With these fat tires uh, and the nice high profile handlebars, it's got a nice aggressive look for a folding bike. Um, now for $1,800, you do get a lot of features. They pack it in here. Um, First you'll notice it's got these four inch thick tires. These can soak up almost every bump, but if that's not enough to soak up the bumps, it does have full front and rear integrated suspension, which is adjustable also. So that is something you don't normally see in a bike of this price point uh, that can fold. That is definitely a great feature to add in there for 1800 bucks. Now up here at the cockpit where you control this bad boy, AKA the handlebars, you'll notice that it has these really lovely leather grips that feel really well. I mean, normally you want to change these grips out when you get a bike, but not with the Yami. Um, they went ahead and gave you some nice leather grips and you have a super bright LCD screen here that gives you all your information, your odometer, your trip reading, how much battery you have left, everything you need to function when you're driving an electric bike is displayed in this very bright four inch monitor here. Uh, really, really nice. You have a control center here where you can turn on and off your headlight. And then it does have a left hand throttle, um, which is kind of weird at first, um, but you get used to it and it's really nice. You maintain a good grip while giving it throttle. You don't have to do it like a motorcycle. It's a little thumb screw. And then on the right side, you have your Shimano eight speed gear shifter, which works really well, smooth, no problems. But me personally, I don't like pedaling this thing. I like using the gas. Now what makes this a foldable bike is these three points. So the handlebars can fold down from this lock right here. The center of the frame locks from this portion and it folds in half. And the third thing, just the little icing on the cake is the pedals are, are foldable. So these actually pop in and you can throw this thing in your car and the pedals aren't gonna scratch up your interior of your car. Super cool design, foldable pedals. This bike can be shrunk up in seconds, throwing your car and you're off to the races. Now I found the seat very comfortable for a right out of the box seat, but it is a standard size seat post. So you can change this out with any seat that you'd like if you have a preference on seats. Now you can see here is your rear suspension. It's a single uh, piston suspension system, works really well. And here's your 750 watt um, integrated hub motor. This thing really, really has a lot of power. And to protect you from the rocks, it's got built in fenders that keep the water off of you if you're off road riding in the trails. And this really super strong, sturdy, all metal welded bike rack. You can put a cooler on here, strap it down, um, whatever you need to go on long trips. Um, this bike rack is a really, really good welcomed addition to the Fat Bear 750S. And then um, last but not least, you have a place here for a little license plate and you do have integrated um, tail lights. So when you apply the brakes, you have tail lights come on, uh, increase safety, really, really fun bike. So let's get this thing out to the beach and see how well it does in some soft sand. Um, and that's really where the Fat Bear 750S shines.
So the Fat Bear 750S and the Beach are the perfect combination. This thing handled it beautifully. It was so much fun. I could ride out there all day. And that 750 watt hub motor had no problem powering those big fat four inch tires through that soft sand. Really, really a dream to ride out there. And when I got on the hard packed sand, I was still able to get up to like 25 miles an hour. Uh, it, it's so much fun. I don't think I'm going to go to the beach without having that bike with me from this moment forward. Also, I did have a little bit of a problem with sand getting into the calipers on the brakes because they are disc brakes and there's close tolerances there. And it would make kind of a grinding noise when I applied the brakes after riding on the beach for a little while. But when I got out to the road, hit the brakes a few times, that cleared up pretty quickly. But keep that in mind, disc brakes and beach may not be the best combination, but uh, it clears up. Now, I wanna take this thing out to some trails and see how it does kind of off-road in a wooded environment. And a lot of you guys may not have a beach around to ride on. So another option is to take this thing out, test the suspension on some mountain bike trails and see how it does. So let's go out there. Okay, so I just got through ripping through these uh, woods and these trails here on the Fat Bear 750S. And let me tell you what, you can really feel that suspension and those big four inch tires soaking up the bumps. I even went through some mud. I almost crashed over here, but it was super fun. Uh, I had the Skydio drone chasing me and it actually hit some branches, but we didn't lose it luckily because that thing is my favorite uh, drone I've ever had. Um, but the Fat Bear is just, it's really fun out here. It, I've been driving this all day. I'm still at 90% battery. Uh, it's got a long battery life. They rate it up to 100 miles on the website. Now, I'm sure that involves a whole lot of pedaling, uh, using the pedal assist to get to that 100 mile range. But, you know, if you're very throttle heavy and you're not pedaling that much, um, you're looking at probably getting about 30 miles out of the, out of the Yami. So it's great bike, great commuter, fun, and you can take it off in the woods and do some outdoor adventures and then fold this bad boy up and throw it in your car and head home. Um, I, I can't think of a lot of things to, bad to say about the Yami. It, 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 it's held up everything I can throw at it. So let's head back to the studio for some final thoughts. So Yami has packed a whole lot of bike into the Fat Bear 750S and they definitely didn't skim on the extras. From full suspension, color LCD screen, leather grips, disc brakes, and foldable pedals, you get an extremely capable bike for well under $2,000. The ride is smooth and the seating position is very comfortable for long rides. And if you're willing to pedal a little bit, the battery can give you more than enough power for a nice day of riding. I received compliments every time I left the house with the 750S. People really love the look of this bike. Now it does take about five hours to charge and I wish they did have a little bit faster charging option. But other than that, I can still highly recommend this bike for anyone looking to add a little bit of adventure to their life. All right guys, that is Yami's Fat Bear 750S electric folding fat tire bike with full suspension. This thing is truly a great bargain. I think right now they're coming in like 17, 1800 bucks. Um, I'll leave a link in the description with the current pricing. If you wanna get your hands on one, uh, you can get one at the link below. Also, all the equipment I use to film Unbox Warehouse, you can find in the description below. Um, check out one of these videos right here if you wanna see more and hope you subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified next time we open something right here on Unbox Warehouse.